Welcome to Transfer Tuesdays, where I provide you with simple tips to help you get the most out of your time, credit, and tuition as a transfer student. This week, I'll be providing common reasons the answer to the question, how long will it take me to graduate, can be complex for schools to answer. Number one, the school you are looking to transfer to has many factors that must be considered in order to piece together a timeline to graduation. Do you want to have a minor or a double major? How heavy of a credit load are you hoping to have? Do you plan to do the coursework outside of the fall and spring semesters? Number two, considering the schools have the answers to all of the other questions, then the next set of questions has to do with what the school was provided from your academic history. Are all of your past credits received? Are all of the transcripts official or appropriate for an academic credit evaluation to be completed? Are all of your in-progress courses going to be complete with transferable grades? These are things that schools are considering as they're looking at your timeline to graduation. The third piece of the puzzle has to do with course sequencing at the institution and the semester you plan to enroll. Let's say you enter in a spring semester, but there are courses that only run in a fall semester that you need to take to join that major. This can require certain waivers from academic deans and may make it difficult for the school to give you a clear graduation timeline until those answers have been found. My best advice is to provide your chosen school with all of your past and current courses, be clear about what your plans are and ask for a review by an advisor in your area of study. That way you can get a clear understanding of your graduation timeline that's individual to you and your circumstances. Thank you for listening to today's tips. Next time, I will provide tips to understanding and navigating the reverse transfer credit process. That's something that helps you obtain your associate's degree after you've transferred.